We will, we will fuck you. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, that was... That was that was bad. That was bad. But I couldn't think of another intro, and I really liked the sound of the seeds. I'm just kind of doing like a little percussionist sound there. Um, but yeah, that was that was very cringy. But transition has been made, and so this is kind of a little precursor to what this episode is going to be over and so i plan on upgrading this entire farm area and so right now it's just this little sliver and i plan on taking it and making this wider here but kind of keeping this this curvature it kind of looks like the end of massachusetts like that little boot um, with, like i guess plymouth would be right here but i want to widen this out and then just have a farm going all the way down here and take some of the villagers that were in my villager hole way over there and have them auto farm so ideally they can auto farm and then i can have a system that can collect collect the wheat and have a water chute that comes up here and then putting a granary on this side of the platform and so i have a granary about here with a water chute bringing the wheat that the the farmers are collecting and it'll bring it up into the granary here and i'll have some hoppers that are collecting it but i also wanted to take this time and we'll, we'll go over and see what ashton has built but i wanted to take this time to talk about the layout of my episodes and so i have a chapter and an episode so it's it's season one chapter one episode two and a half maybe maybe three i'm still not sure if i want this to be a full episode um but i'll talk about that in a bit so i wanted to do chapters within the season to kind of mark my own progression so for instance whenever i think that my audio or my video editing has reached a a, a point in which i'm comfortable at and that that i'm pleased with um that is when i'll do another chapter or maybe it's my texturing has got to a point where I feel like I've reached another um, kind of checkpoint in terms of my my own um, my own skill. And so the chapters are kind of indicators for you guys to see my own progression. And so I I hope y'all can also see the visually see the progression of my videos and, and the content that I'm making as this season goes on. But I think that's just a cool way to kind of keep track of of. Uh, my own, my own progression. I'm gonna take some of that bamboo. I don't really need it, but I'm, I'm gonna take it. But it looks like he's using the bamboo to hold the cows in. He's got a single, a single fence in there. What? I guess he ran out of fences, so he decided to use bamboo. Huh. But this episode is gonna be a little bit of a slower episode, and I think this is supposed to. Is this supposed to be blood in a slaughterhouse? Brutal. <laughs> but this episode is going to be a little bit slower than my other ones. Um, I'm actually going out of the country for about 10 days starting tomorrow. So I'm just trying to squeeze in an episode before I leave. And so I might make this titled episode 2.5 because it's not quite up to par with what i would like in terms of how much i'm going to be getting done so instead of making this episode three it, it may be labeled episode 2.5 so I'm, I'm still not sure so i'm not sure what this video is actually titled whenever y'all are seeing it but i'm thinking about doing 2.5 just because it's going to be slow paced I'm, I'm all i'm doing is a granary maybe a granary if i even have time for that but getting my farm ready so nothing nothing too crazy it's going to be very slow paced a lot of a lot of just talking and, and walking through there's not going to be any time lapses and uh, minimal editing so i hope y'all enjoy but if y'all don't just know that it's i mean it might just be because i'm not good at making videos and my content's not good but you also might not enjoy it oh whoa hold up can i can i just boom whoa 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 that is that's cool 
mean, it's cool that I can see through, but why, why use a ladder when I can just, that's pretty gnarly. But anyways, uh, it's going to be a very slow paced episode. So hope you all enjoy. Um, so that is just the overview of today's episode. And so I went ahead and I collected some dirt, but I want to collect some, um, some coarse dirt and maybe some more mud because I don't want my villagers to just be able to walk right off the edge. So what, I, what I'm going to do is, is get some fences and put some fences and bushes and make sure that there's a, a too high wall around the whole area. But I don't want it to look just like a regular wall. I want it to look like it's a natural vegetation or an overgrown fence. Um, so that's that's the uh, the look that I'm going for. Um, so I need some need some more dirt, and uh, I, I need to collect some some leaves because I think for now I have some jungle wood. Yeah, I have jungle wood, but no really no green. Um, I have some vines, but but I really need some leaves. Um, a little bit of fences here. But uh, that is the plan for today, is upgrading this whole area. And so I don't know if you all noticed, but I also textured this wall here. And so I forgot to texture this wall last episode. I had textured, I textured these walls, but I did not texture the wall facing the, the garden. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I also added these logs here along the stairway so now the stairway has some outlining um and some some uh safety railing you could say and uh, i textured this wall as well and i brought it all the way down to the base i need to get some granite to do granite on the base like i did over here it just kind of transitions the transition looks a little weird um so i'll probably do that i don't know if i'll do that this episode but i also moved everything so this is what or this is what I was working with for my base. And so I still have some cats. I turned I turned the friendly mobs, uh, friendly creatures down because they were just constantly making noise. And so I moved everything onto the top of the platform. So now we are completely moved out of the starting area. I mean, we're still in the starting area, but we're not in the starting area if you know what i mean it's it's been upgraded we're in starting area version two and this is this is this is beautiful just leaving all this wheat unharvested uh I'll, I'll leave it for now so don't don't mind this because i wanted to show y'all another thing that i did with the platform last episode i alluded to a secret that i had planned for this and that uh I was going to show y'all, but I didn't get around to it last episode, but this is what it is. So I created kind of this underground, oh, I need a bucket. Yeah, that's not supposed to do that. I need to waterlog that. But I created, it's kind of like the sewage system for my platform. And so we have some water coming in here. And then if we go all the way through, we have some more water coming through here and then it brings us out to the other side. So this is kind of performing two functions for me. One, I don't have to go all the way around the island in order to get to the other side. I can just go through it here. But the more important function is that I now have access to my villagers. And so these are the <laughs> these are the infected zombie villagers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the infected zombie villager. But and the, this brings you to the villager here. I mean the uh, zombie here. Um, but here, it connects us to the villagers down here. And this is where I trade for iron or iron for emeralds. And then I have the other two are. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. The other two villager modules are over here, and one is down here this is the fortune three so touch and then over here i believe it's the unbreaking unbreaking efficiency and looting and so this is going to connect to oh, oh there's texture here yeah i don't want to mess up that texturing this is going to connect to this pond here and so this will feed into 
this will feed into this this uh I keep want to say septic but it's it's not the septic it's the, the sewage the sewage system and so I it's kind of a small thing but I wanted it to feel like this is fresh water coming from the city and then this is the salt water sewage that's connecting to the ocean and so we have like your seagrass here and you have your sea pickles but then right where this water is hitting the salt water we have some kelp and so it's supposed to make it look like it's more brackish water so we're getting some um, different different uh flora here and then we have the vines coming out of here because this is where the fresh water is so it's supporting different different greenery it's supporting these uh drip leaves um or these drip leaves and then the glows the, the glow berries and and some vines um but all the rest of it is just kind of barren with some sea pickles and some seagrass and uh, these two output out outputs of water are both fresh water and so that's that's why we're getting these leaves and greenery and one oversight was i can connect i can connect to all the villagers but i I forgot to connect this up to where the iron is actually collecting at. So I need to extend that that tunnel that I just came out of. Oh, we're overflowing. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll check this another time. <laughs> but I need to connect this, this side tunnel to the iron collection because i don't want to have to break the wall every time i need to come in here so that's one thing that i need to do um, but i wanted to show you all this because in between episodes i'll oh i still get used to that uh, <laughs> but in between episodes i i don't have a lot of time to do really long sessions so i've just had really small sessions to work on this a little bit at a time so it's it's not really worth me recording all that work and with all the fine detailing and the texturing like this it's not really that enjoyable to watch as a viewer either so um that's why i, I did this in between episodes it's kind of one of those tedious things that i worked on a little bit at a time and uh i i wanted to to get that done and show you guys that but i hope y'all like that and it's supposed to act as um, a practical purpose, but also it, I think it looks pretty good. I, I, I'm glad with how it, it came out with, with the early game color palette and um, my, my limited experience with texturing. But I wanted to show you something else as well. So if you look at this, it's just completely smooth sandstone. And as far as far as I'm aware, you can't you can't put a slab upside down. So if I come here and I do this, like you, you can't put a slab upside down. So, so all you're getting is that smooth top. So you're getting this smooth top here and that smooth, this smooth top here. But if you look at it from the bottom, you get this kind of rockier textured bit. And so it's a really nice texture, but I found out you can get this texture if you just put a stair upside down. That's the only, as far as I'm aware, the only sandstone block that you can turn the textured side on the top. Because regular sandstone, you can't turn upside down. The smooth sandstone and cut sandstone has a, a smooth top. But the stairs, all of these are upside down stairs. It adds this nice texture to the pathway. And so I'm not going to update this area yet until I have some buildings and, and there's some more established pathways but I plan on using some upside down stairs in order to give that that nice texture but I, I still have this this little I don't even know what you would call it the symbol so I ended up keeping this um, I, I, I don't know if it's gonna stay in the final the final version of this this area but uh, it's here for now but I did texture the walls I didn't do any color texturing, but I did I did some walls and oh let's fix that. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, let's just take this. Okay. 
And I'm missing another. Okay. Okay. We will. We will just leave this. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to go collect some supplies for this farm. And I will see you on the other side. And I think I think I really need dirt. I think my jungle. My jungle wood is good. So dirt. I think that's it. And yeah, I think I need gravel for the coarse dirt just for some texturing because I do want to have a walkway that this is coming off of. And so maybe have a walkway coming through the middle and I'll have farms on either side with farmers on it. And then right at the end, it might, it might kind of, I might raise this in part and have maybe a windmill or a lighthouse. I don't think a windmill will go very well because we're going with this more deserty theme. And when I think of windmills, I think of like Northern Europe, um, specifically like the Netherlands. So I don't think a windmill would look too well, but maybe maybe just a watchtower because um, I don't I don't know how a lighthouse would look either with this theme. So I might just do a watchtower here and that might be where maybe I put my enchantment table. But uh, I do want this pathway to lead to something. I don't want it to just be a pathway in the middle of the farm and not lead anywhere. So I'm thinking of having some some type of, of building here, probably probably a watchtower, the more I think about it. Um, but I'm gonna clear this out and go get some more dirt. Okay, I'm back guys. And so I laid out with the cobblestone, just a general idea of what the pathway is gonna be. And it's given me like, old school minecraft feel it's just the plain dirt and then the plain cobblestone so this cobblestone will end up being coarse dirt maybe some mud some uh, regular dirt maybe till dirt i don't know i feel like till dirt just there's so many better options now than till dirt so i might not use that but it will not be cobblestone and now what i need to do is so i, I have this laid out and so what i did is i gave myself about a three block a three block width so this will be the farm and then this will be the fence so i have about three blocks and so this inside layer has to be two blocks high or i can have a fence here like like this doesn't have to be two blocks high. it can just be a fence but i guess the villager can jump right here but i just need to do some texturing i don't how, how does that look? I, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> but there needs to be some sort of some, some sort of texturing to where I, I don't want it to look terrible. But I want it to look kind of like a rundown fence. And I want it to be functional to where the villagers can't get out. And the drowned can't get out of the, the ocean and come get the villagers. Like this wouldn't be good because then they can just walk over and get through. So we don't want that. So I could just boom. And if I do this, and so even though it's one, I could do this, and so I can't reach it. So that that looks that looks decent. And then I could put some brush down, maybe some jungle, maybe another fence here. And then if I do a trap door here, I don't think monsters can jump on top of that. I'm actually not sure. I don't want to risk it, but I'm going to do this, maybe boom, 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 I don't know. I'm just going to have to play around a little bit, but you get the idea. I'm going to have this wrapping around this entire section, and this will all be tilled. And the reason I have this cobblestone is I believe villagers can farm about a nine by nine radius i'll have to double check that but there's going to be different sections for the villagers so this will be one section for one villager and then we'll have another section for another villager here and the same thing this is three wide in order for for that fence and then we'll have another section here and then maybe one more here and then this is where it turns into the watchtower and we'll 
so this will be one, two, three, maybe three farms. So three villagers on this side and then maybe three villagers on this side. We'll see. At least two on each side for sure. Maybe three. And then we'll have the watchtower here. So really excited for that. And also I, I fact checked myself on Google and Plymouth is not on the very end of like that Massachusetts boot it's actually so if this is the boot here it's actually about right here so you have mainland massachusetts here it's right where this starts curving in and then there's like not really much down there but it makes sense it's all surrounded by ocean i'm sure it gets obliterated by storms so yeah i was i was wrong with the location of plymouth but i'm going to work on this fence here it's nothing too crazy so I just kind of want to show you all the progress. I don't want to waste y'all's time with me just tediously placing these blocks down. But I'll I'll show you all the finished product, at least the the first iteration of this fence. Alrighty, guys, I am back and I have the finished the finished farmland. And so I I ended up making this shorter. So I'll show you what I did. So I brought this in to where it's not as long but this curves to the right now so what that did was this gave this a little bit more width because what i ended up having was say this pathway went straight here i only had about four blocks on this side and then about four blocks on this side so instead of continuing to go forward and then curve out i went ahead and curved right here to give this a little bit more width and so it's actually um, farmable or worth worth the farmer's time so i think i can get one two i could probably get three farmers on this side and then two farmers on this side and call it good and i actually might be able to i don't i don't know if i need three or if i could do two farmers on this side that seems like a lot for two farmers so i might do three i also saw a post and i i fact checked this so mobs can't actually get above a block and a trap door because like minecraft characters like like your player can jump a block and a quarter so we can jump on top of of trap doors on top of a block but mobs can't jump a block and a quarter as far as i'm aware so we'll see if we end up having some dead some dead villagers then we'll know that it's because of the trap doors but here we go and i realized that jungle is not the leaf to use in the desert because it looks yellowish but birch doesn't seem to be affected that bad by it like birch actually looks pretty looks pretty green you can kind of see the difference here like look at i think this is oak even so like birch compared to oak there's like no yellow tint to it and then birch right there compared to jungle just looks so much better so i think birch is the way to go when you're working in the desert but i am going to go ahead and get some of these villagers over here and i'm actually going to cut that out because i have to get ready to leave so i'm just going to quickly bring the villagers over there and probably farm up everything and blueprint out the granary that i'm going to build but I don't think I have time to actually build out the granary or even do too much more in this episode. So I'm going to get, yeah, there's one of the guys. That's my mending guy. So let's not lose him. Yeah, you can. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, you get in here. is not going too well but i'm gonna i'm gonna bring him over there and i'll, I'll edit this out so i'll see y'all when this is done okay guys i have my two villagers here and so the other mending guy it was two farmer villagers and then the mending librarian and so i left the mending librarian over there and then you got these two farmers and so what we'll do is we'll breed these two and we'll fill up that side with with the the babies that we get from here so let's go ahead and get these guys out let's see if they pathfind out of this 
out of this place right off the bat. That would be terrible. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to place these in the most optimal spot. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 blocks wide. So anywhere in the middle. Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want to be about right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's so about oh, not there. Okay, right here. So one of them should. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's very unfortunate that this. Huh. I'd prefer if this was not the water source. Under here was the water source. Let's do this. Let's do this. If a villager fell in here, that would be very unfortunate. Okay. And then to compensate, I think we need to put one here. That doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then this one can extend out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then the other villager can go up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. So that means it needs to be on this row. Um, I think he's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it needs to be on this row. Right? And this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that yeah, ends up being perfect. So I'll move this here we'll do the same thing move this over to under there like that I don't know if one two three four I think this should water everything my villagers are gone my villagers they just left Okay, so villagers can get out of these somehow. Okay, um, <laughs> just turn around and both my villagers are gone. That is ridiculous. I'm assuming it's from this. I guess they can get out of this. So what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll just do this, do that. So anywhere there's a trap door like this, we pretty much just have to get rid of because they can get on top of that. Uh, here. Surely they can't jump. Yeah, okay. And then I think... Oh, they could have got out this way. No way. I'm going to assume that it was from those other trap doors. I don't, I don't think they went all the way back there. I'll watch the replay and see. But it looks like they're both making their way back. Which is good. I don't know if I can get them in the boat while out in the water. That bug is so annoying. Okay, let's see. Can I get him in? Oh, I can't. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now let's get this guy out. He's going to the bed. Hopefully he goes to the workstation over here. Come on, buddy. Go to the workstation. Go to the workstation. I think he sees it. They have some pretty gnarly... Vi oh, yep, yeah, look. Look, he just did it. He just did it. Okay, okay. So that is... That's exactly what happened. They got on top of the trap doors. Okay, and no, we are not... We're not letting you get on top of that. Okay, let's... Let's put some slabs on top of those. Let's give them some seeds. And watch... The magic start to happen. OK, 
Okay, so what we can do is get him off. Get him off. Okay. And then throw him down a half a stack of seeds. And then he should start planting away. Oh, he's going to pathfind and just... Oh, he's going to try to get out of that this entire time. Oh, my goodness. Villagers are ridiculous. He's going to spend his whole life trying to get out of this cage. Uh, surely they don't try to get out of that. Maybe this one. I will place these. I'm not going to keep wooden blocks here. Oh, he does. He does. What a maniac. What a maniac. Okay. Uh, the fence there. I think the fence is stopping him from not trying to get up there. There we go. He's, he's tending to his crops now. And then let's put this on here. And now it's not a matter of them getting yelled. I think I think I've blocked everything to where he can't get out. It's just a matter of him trying to pathfind and wasting his time trying to get out, even though he can't. So let's get this last guy in here. This is taking way longer than what I thought it would. Then we'll go ahead and get him in. I don't know what this guy is trying to do. I don't know if he thinks he can walk through this wall. But, oh, maybe, maybe you can't see this. I don't, I don't understand. Does he see the other workstation that's up there? I'm sorry, sorry about that. There we go. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. So we have both of these guys are farming away. And I'm not going to automate it this episode. I don't have the time. I think I'm going to do a, a good bit of automation. I'm going to automate this and then automate the iron farm a little better in terms of the storage. So... I'm going to work on that next episode, but I got these guys working, and I, I'm i going to try to get an outline at least of this granary going. I might not finish it, but at least I'll get an outline. So I want to take up this whole space here. So I want it to be fairly big. Do I want to leave a gap here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll leave a gap. I think I kind of like the look of that. It gives it a little balcony. And then we'll put a light. Oh, I couldn't even put a gap there if I wanted to. I mean, I couldn't put a block there if I wanted to because this is this block. Okay. Okay, awesome. That's fine. So we'll do an eight by eight. I want it to be square. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is one, one room out of two. So it's gonna be it's gonna be two squares. So that's the first one. And then we go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should be seven on the inside. No, six on the inside, sorry. Because the two walls. Okay, six on the inside. Awesome. And then we'll connect 
this up. And then this is three. Oh, that that looks bad. Uh, actually, it'll probably end up being like this, and then we'll have an archway here. And then there'll probably be an archway here as well. Let's light this up to keep this entire platform mob proof. Uh, so smooth sandstone, stairs. I'm not gonna texture it this episode. Go. I think this is tall enough. I'll do this wall and then I can just look at it from the front and see if it is tall enough. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. And it, it looks pretty bad with absolutely zero texturing but that's okay i just kind of want to get a blueprint to give you guys an idea of the layout again this i'm, I'm going to end up making this just episode two and a half it's not going to be it's not going to be quote unquote episode three i just i just don't like the a little the little amount that i'm getting done i, I know i'm getting like a decent amount done like I've, i built this whole farm area and building the granary you know what? I'll, pro I'll probably do make this episode three. It'll just be a really slow. No way the farmer got out. Is he hiding? Oh, okay. I was about to say, surely they didn't get out again. But I'm going to end up making this episode three. It's just a slow episode. And so I guess I did get a decent amount done. It's just not quite what I expected. But I think I need to be okay with not getting the exact amount of of uh, work that I that I wanted to get done out of this. But what we're gonna do here, so this is the middle, is we're gonna have two domed roofs. So each roof roof roofed each <laughs> each roof is gonna be its own kind of sub building and they're, they're going to be together and let's see if I can show this properly I'll just do one one of these and then Make it spherical. And it's kind of hard doing commentary while you're trying to think and, and put this together. It's uh, not something you think about until you start doing it, but trying to talk and and do at the same time, it, it becomes kind of a challenge. Let's see here. But it's a matter of making this a sphere Without making it look too too squared off. I mean obviously the, the difficulty of Minecraft is not making stuff look like a square. Go figure. So let's see if I ah, it's a little unfortunate that this isn't an odd number. So I'd make it a little bit easier. Do this and then do this. And this is not the most efficient way to do it. I'm using a lot more resources than I need to, especially these slabs. Let's see. And I don't think I like. I don't think I like these being full blocks. I'm gonna make that a slab. Go ahead and get some more slabs here. And what I'll also do is I'll do this, 
that. Oh, no, not that. Oh, yeah, that, that helps a lot. Maybe even this. Is this crazy? Is this crazy? Let's do this. I don't know if I like how far down that goes. Let's see here. Boom. Uh, I think I like it. And if this is mirrored on the other side, but now we kind of have the rounded roof, we fully textured. And this will also be boom, boom, boom. Here, here, here. I can't get up there. Yeah, I think I think I kind of like that. And since it's the corner, it's not really affecting the amount of space that we have. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. So this will be here. Well, these middle ones might actually be different. It might it might be a little different in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this on this side and mirror it. And I'll show you all the finished product. And I think that'll be the end of the episode. And I don't know if they want beds, but they'll be fine. But yeah, I'll show you the end, end product of this. Alrighty guys, so that is it. It looks very, it looks pretty bad right now, but just trust the process. I don't have, I don't have the time to do any details. I'm not even going to go inside because it's just bare and empty. I do, I do like this. This is kind of cool. Um, I wonder if we could like do something with this. Like maybe put upside down stair right here no not like that like this and then we have maybe a button down here or like an ender pearl area down here maybe there could be a little secret entrance to something that would be that would be kind of cool because it's it's just this little pathway and it doesn't lead to anything in particular so i think that would be pretty cool to have a, a secret entrance right there for something i'm gonna keep that there but yeah this is this is the granary. Um, I might, I, I don't plan on doing another door here. I do plan on putting a, a tree right here and having the tree hang over and hopefully putting some of those, uh, I keep doing that, putting some of these guys in the tree that hangs over this walkway. So uh, it'll be a palm tree that hangs over. I don't know if this will look good with a palm tree, but maybe we can hide it inside the leaves. But what I want is the particle effects that this gives off. So I think that'd be really cool. And hopefully next episode, I can have this all filled out with wheat and have some automation going on. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. And I will be away from my com computer for about 10 days. I'll be out of the country for 10 days. So hope you all enjoy. Sorry for how slow this episode is, but it's just how it, how it ended up being. So... Sorry about that, guys.